you brought movies too and oh, i was oh, like hey i should bring you know i should be sensitive and bring like a nice romantic comedy but it's me and i brought a bunch of action movies so just ignore the people being uh, shot i hope they don't come back yeah i would agree with that but i mean you and me both know that's the second time we've interacted with them wait what feel uncomfortable answering any questions just go ahead and let me know we can skip over it but we will just start off with what happened Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, how you? How's she doing? I should ask. Ah, uh, she's doing okay. Aw, I don't know if we've ever hugged before, young. <laughs> That's, That's sweet. Uh, very emotional. Uh, no, but how are you? I, I guess I was kind of rude. I was just like, how's she? But then, yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, and that uh, that's fine. Um, no, I'm I'm doing better seeing her. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, she's in better spirits. Oh, Glennon was just here. I don't know where he went. Um, I did see his car out there, but I think mine's cooler, so I parked right next to it. Even though did his is like a, a gazillion dollar car and mine's like a cheap car, but I'm still calling mine better. Where is this car? Oh, hey! I mean, hey! I, mean uh, I think mine's better, but no, yeah, mine is ten opinion. times better. Look, it's yeah. just super ears. Yeah, well, I, I think mine's the best actually. No. If we're being never mind, I take that back immediately. What is this? I okay. Okay, I won don't. This car. That's you. So many concerns about won what kind of car that is. Car. It's a narrow custom, or Nero custom. How do how do we you want to pronounce it? Yeah, pronounce uh -huh. it. Yeah, I, I can't pronounce pronounce. There's yeah, I don't no. know. Uh, she's actually doing better. She's in better spirits. If you wanna go surprise her with both your presences. Um, I mean, yeah, we could go together. We can let him. If you wanna go first, boss. I don't. Either way. Uh, actually, if you wanna go first, it's fine. I I have a lot of time, so um. I think okay. if you wanna go, you can go. Gotcha. Wait, younger. Is she done with you? Like, you can keep going if you. Done with me. I know, right? Uh, I, I don't think she's done with him. Yeah, it's like we we can wait. I'm not in a rush. If you want to keep talking with her. Oh, that's fine. Come on. I'll show you where she is at. Okay. Hang on. I gotta grab something out of my trunk. One sec. Oh, I gotta get something out of my car. <laughs> hey, my trunk's in the front. Oh, well, see, this that's... dude is so yeah. bushy. <laughs> My trunk's in the front. His trunk and his, like, million dollar car he's got there. <laughs> Must be You know nice what? Mine there, has sir. cup holders, okay? I'm I'm actually going to sell this uh, and, and put it as a down payment on a different house. That's actually smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be nice. One second. I guess we can I'll all go in at the same time, home. and then afterwards we can talk, like, individually. Uh, he says go at the same time? I mean, if you want, yeah. and then, like, one of us can leave, and either way. Yeah, I don't mind. I... Oh, that was weird. And... Look who I found! <sighs> oh, the door. oh! Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey! <laughs> Just slammed the door in her face. No, I was trying Ow, to. Oh, thanks, Young. It's fine. Oh my god, I tried. Hey, boss, can you readjust on the bed, please? Oh. Oh, you said it was fine. It is fine for me. And you're fine for me. Is that is that better? <clears throat> yes, that's perfect. Yeah. I appreciate you guys coming here. I didn't expect any gifts though. Yeah, oh. it's good to see you. Yeah. I brought I brought lots of bring a teddy bear. like I, snacks yeah. and then I brought movies too, and oh, I was oh, like, hey, I should bring you know I should be sensitive and bring like a nice romantic comedy, but it's me and I brought a bunch of action movies, so just ignore the people being uh, shot. No, please. What just, the hell? What? I like action movies, okay, boss. Don't worry, they're good ones. <laughs> hey, just put them on the table. I, I honestly I don't care. I, give me anything. I've been reading the same book twice in a row now. No, yeah, you can plug them into this laptop here, and it'll be great. I, well, it's good to see you both. Good to see you too. Yeah, you too. 
I uh, I actually uh, stopped by your house uh, earlier. Uh, Bailey let me in, you know, because she has the key. And uh, I actually uh, I was gonna go grab uh, Freddy for you and bring him here, but uh, apparently he's already here. <laughs> Somebody else has had the same idea. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I've been feeding Duke and definitely not eating any of your snacks. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so three of you have been raiding my kitchen at this point. Hey, did, did you did you find her Japanese uh, snack cabinet? It's really good. Yes, what? I did. Yeah, that's really what? good. Excuse. What? Glad you're feeling better, boss. How yeah. you been doing? Yeah. We've been worried so sick. Good to see you. Yeah, I totally didn't <laughs> All right. burn pots. And also, that's a very kitchen, nice but... shirt, by the way, Chief. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. I guess I should have worn something a little more appropriate to visit you in the hospital. Now rock on. <laughs> well, it's, uh, again, I'm happy that you guys are coming to visit me. I'm, I'm actually, technically could have left the hospital a couple days ago, but since I live alone, I figured I'd stay here a little longer. Yeah, it's for the best, probably, just to make sure they can monitor you for a little while longer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they managed to, um, you know, patch up my lung, and it's stitched up, and it'll heal in time. Um, but obviously, it's 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 still hard to move around a, a lot just because of all the pain and all that. Um, yeah. and did they say you were gonna make a full recovery? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, sh I should. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Right. Apparently, they need a whole uh, second bag of blood too, and they got me to surgery, so. Yeah, we're gonna get her home tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna be a nurse. Apparently, she says. Oh, no, that's no, sweet. I just it's no, no, he's not. <gasps> we can give you I'm some of scrubs. our equipment. We can get you some like gloves and no, stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, we can he, give you everything you need to play doctor. I mean, nurse. Nurse, doctor, same thing. Basically, yeah. It's it's not it's not the same thing, but I no, he's <laughs> he's just gonna help me change some of my bandages because, like, there's it's just better when somebody else can see whether it's you know infected or whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna go check on my officers, make sure everything's good to go in this cité. Oh, be right outside, okay? Uh, yeah, are you gonna come back, or...? Oh, of course. Okay. Thank you again for you guys for visiting her, and... Oh, sh Dublin, thank you for everything you did to save her. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, young. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Anytime. And thank you for being a great partner to her as well. She talks about you all the time, so. Good things, so. though. Alrighty, I'll be back. Hey, uh, did y'all two want a minute alone? I can wait outside. I was about to ask you the same thing, actually. <laughs> I guess what would you like, Campbell, is the question. I didn't know you wanted to see me individually, but we can stay together. It doesn't matter. I just don't yeah, sure it's... if like either one had something specific they wanted. Um, no, you guys both be here. If it's up to you, if you have something specific, but I don't mind both of you being here. I'm just happy that I have visitors. Gotcha. Well, all jokes aside, I am really, really glad you're okay. We were very worried <laughs> yeah. about you. And this guy over here kept calling over and over again. And I thought it was the sweetest thing. I was trying to find out their status. You know, I was wondering what the doctors were saying when they were talking about... They were talking right outside my room about someone just constantly, um, you know, ringing their phones. Yeah, I need to go apologize to one of the desk nurses after I leave here. I may have gotten a little upset with her. And I, I know I shouldn't have. You were you were in surgery and they, they um, you know, they couldn't really communicate with the surgeons to uh get a status you know so uh yeah i was a little upset I, just because i didn't i didn't know what was going on and if you were okay and i wanted yeah. to yeah. say something to the others too just so they could be reassured yeah they uh, i mean they told me that the surgery went well I, um they uh, from my understanding I, I i guess i flatlined at one point i didn't know that until later on Yeah, yeah, they, uh, yeah. I'm um, starting to wish I didn't make, you know, make 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 the move that I did. What do you mean? You uh, made the right choice. You were protecting us. 
mm, but but in in response to that, I you know I put put a lot of worry on everybody else. Well, I mean, you did what your training told you to do, and you know it was just a matter of you were outgunned, and there were <laughs> there were guys behind you and in front of you. You know they they came in from all sides. So it's really nothing you could have done differently, and you know in a split second decision, you know who knows those guys could have come in just wanting to murder us all, and and you know. <laughs> That's that was basically my thought process. I only saw th you know the three people going through the front door. That's all. Everything else was, I guess, pretty much a blur. Yeah. Um, no, you 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 did what you thought was right, and it was part of your training. And I, I, no one blames you for that at all. You know, you you were defending us, and. You know, it's it's appreciated. Believe me, I, I don't think anyone thinks poorly of you at all for that. Least of all me. Yeah. Did did I mean? Did anybody else get hurt uh, or anything like that? I I I didn't really. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. I was f focusing on trying to stay alive. Um. I mean, you did hit one of them, and then. When we were in the bathroom, they kind of roughed up a lot of the firefighters, but nothing serious. Okay, that's that's good. I did any of the um the the gunmen did they did any of them get hurt? I I know I shot a few of them, but I I didn't know who. Yeah, one of them uh one of them had to get treated by our paramedics uh in the station when this was all going down. Um, but after uh, that uh well uh, they were yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 that was all. Sorry. Uh, yeah, one of them was treated and in jail. Another one was killed, and then the other three, to my knowledge, are still out there. I see. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, that was my reaction. Yeah. I, I did all I could to help the the cops after uh, they took me, um, and they, they let me go up by Fort Zancudo uh, in, in the tunnel, and they tried to take some of the some locals cars and uh i just tried to remember all of them and gave them to the deputies and uh some of them got away too quickly though i see Fuck, dude. i hope they don't come back yeah i would agree with that but i mean you and me both know that's the second time we've interacted with them wait what i'm not uh, are you i don't know if it's never mind Uh, you can say it. I mean, it was the same gang from that day. Me and you were on medic together. Yeah. One of them uh, was even the same person, but I, I didn't, I didn't notice. I, I. I guess you had a very quick interaction with them the first time, but it's been yeah. for hours. Yeah. From my understanding, too, everybody who was there, the way they were acting, it, they, it's the same as last time. They had a list. Somebody was telling them to do all of this. But, I mean, we're going to be prepared for next time now, and we know, and we're not going to let something like this happen again. I hope that. I, I think this is, um, I think we might need to, I don't know, put, like, uh, code locks on our doors or something now. At this point, this wouldn't have happened if we had something like that. Well, we have to do something to be prepared, like Bailey says, because... I feel like something much bigger is coming. You know, these guys are they're serious and I think they're stocking up. What are they wanting? What are they why why are they targeting us? I don't I think they just wanted us for our medications and our paramedics. I don't I don't think they wanted anything else from us other than that. Yeah, I, you know? I don't think they're attacking us. I think they're just from my understanding like a cartel in town trying to build up their ranks and everything. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if they start reaching out to our paramedics, um, trying to get some of them on the payroll. So we have to be careful about that. But this is this is something we can talk about when you're out of the hospital. Yeah, I was like, this right is in the right. Yeah. 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 This is a, this is a yeah. little deep. I just, I, yeah. Um, <sighs> was it you? No, we should change the subject. I just know one of the firefighters talked to them beforehand. 
for telling me about it. Okay. I got shot up over a bunch of drugs. I wish I knew that beforehand. I would have given them that, but... I mean, how could you have known? Like... Yeah, there was no way of knowing. It was, it was all so fast. There was nothing we could have done differently. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh... Leon, do you know if um, there's going to be protection at our stations for a little while, or, or I, I don't want this to happen again? Yeah, I can definitely arrange that. Even if it's just for a little while. And I know that you guys have done it before when our firefighters were individually targeted, but... Yeah, I'm going to have a, an officer tomorrow, and I guess for the rest of the week at, outside of your apartment, just in case when I'm not there. And then we can set something up for the fire station, Dublin. Yeah. Wait. Why outside um, my apartment, though? Just, just in case. Okay. Kind of paranoid here. <laughs> okay. And um, look, if you need to pay your guys overtime, if if the city doesn't approve the overtime, um, just let me know. I'll I'll pay for it personally. Um, no, I got it. <laughs> Trust me. We're budgeted for it already. <laughs> I'll sell my my fancy car if I have to. So. Oh no! If I if you see me out here in green Camaros, you think no, you can't afford off-duty officers? That 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 car will uh, support your department's budget for about a year. I think. You know what? I don't think it would. All right. <laughs> when this fancy car? Did you see his fancy car? She knows all about it. She, she oh. drove it. I in the she parking almost lot. won yes, that car, uh, right? Um. Well, I still claim I still think that you should sue them because they did false advertisement. They said you'd get a what a. a, a a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini, and you got like a whatever the hell it is. Well, I was told uh, whatever the hell it is <laughs> later by the dealership that they uh, the they're phasing out the uh, Lamborghinis uh, from the state. Uh, they're, they're apparently going to be illegal soon, so they what? gave me something what? else. What? Yeah. Why? Why would Lamborghinis be illegal? I have, uh, no idea. I have no idea. That's weird. That is the strangest thing. Yeah. So they decided to give me something that wouldn't get ripped out of my hands uh, afterwards. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. He had to show off that his trunk was in the front downstairs. Well, you know. They call that a frunk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you um, drive again, Campbell? What's your car? I have two cars. I've got a Jeep, um, Cherokee thing. Trackhawk. She remembered. Yes, yes, and That's then, crazy. and then I, I, I drive, I drive my black Prius. Those cars are both so you, and I love it. <laughs> okay. I love how she's both saving the environment and destroying it depending on which car. Right? Right? Like Look, the worst car. No, the I have one downstairs. Oh. <laughs> Look, the Jeep is for mainly if I'm going out camping or hiking, which I would love to do with my boyfriend here soon. Um, listen, listen. Oh, wait, listen. What? You know, yeah, like, I can... I'll take you hiking, the girls' night. Let's go. <laughs> Probably not for a little while. I, I'm going to have to go on light duty for a short while. Yes, when, when you're I do fully better. Yeah. Also, if I can make a recommendation, I mean, if you want a vehicle that's good on gas or you know good for the environment but also has the cargo space to go camping might i recommend a tesla model y or x no, i can't no, remember which one no, it's an electric car it's got yeah, a ton of car. Car. Did you see the tesla. doors no that thing? Gas. yeah it's like a freaking hawk no oh, that's, you know, they nice. that's that's good i like that they open, they open like this <laughs> 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 they do they do. They really do. They're so great cool. representation. You're, you're, I think you're lucky I'm on pain meds because I probably would have been in pain if I was laughing right now uh, oh, without it. That's why I'm reserving the amount of jokes I usually tell because I know you're got stitches. Well, it's good to see you all. I'm I'm happy that I get some interaction past uh, the the nurse that keeps uh, waking me up. You know, in the middle of the night to change bandages. You can't do that in the day, apparently. Well, they, it's got. Uh, when I was first, you know, after the surgery, they had to change it pretty frequently. Yeah. 
Well, soon you'll be home in your own bed, so. Yeah. Which, with, with a much more handsome nurse changing your bandages. <laughs> and <laughs> scrubs, right? I'm getting yeah. a these scrubs. You're really oh, excited my. about the scrubs. I don't know if that's like a thing y'all are into, but y'all do you. No, 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 no. You guys even do a little, like a little, uh, a little like sponge bath role play too. You know, like you know, just kind of have scrubs and everything. And uh, I mean, I don't know about that role play thing. That sounds dumb. Oh my! Get back in bed, man. What? Her sushi. Lots and lots of sushi. Trust me. I, I don't know why I didn't go that route. Actually, I can't have sushi for a little while. <gasps> what? What Oops. can you have? I did not mean to do that. I didn't. I don't, mean... I'll take it anyway. Thanks, boss. Oh, okay. That's. That's is uh. My neck is down show. here, Campbell. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to have fish for a little while just because of the blood transfusion. It's probably not good to have the mer mercury uh, inside. Uh, too much yeah. of it, anyways. Uh, totally knew that. That's why I didn't bring any sushi up. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you bring sushi? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I... These fluorescent lights are so fluorescent. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, really? Sorry. Now I know why you're wearing sunglasses inside. Hey. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night, too. I question him that, too. I wear my sunglasses exactly. at night. Someone gets it. Dude, I'm wearing an ACDC shirt. You think I'm going to know that song, too? Of course. <laughs> well, I do appreciate you guys being here. Yeah. Look, anything you need once you get out, you know, we're all here for you. So, you know, we'll get you whatever you need. And, you know, yeah. And, and, and you are on light duty when you come back by the way i i know i i already got a schedule i'm probably gonna be doing more so command for a little while and then i'll eventually get into medical duties uh, of course with light lifting yeah that's right you can drive one of the mom missiles they're pretty comfortable <laughs> no you know. i'm not driving it <laughs> how about the dad missile i'm not even gonna respond to that don't no i'm not gonna respond to that i'm not gonna respond to that <laughs> Dad missiles the expedition. I thought that was a mommy missile. I, I think that's the Tahoe, honestly. Oh, the king lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> but how how are you two doing after all this? I I know it's probably pretty traumatic. <laughs> um, I I went through a bit of a rough spot, but I'm getting better, and Glenn helps a lot with that. So, I'm, I'm sorry to put you into that. You didn't put me into that at all. And, like, just knowing you were better really helped, too. Like, when we finally got news on you. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I've been alright. You know, it's just part of the job, and, you know, I just, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> well, we can certainly maybe talk about it, you know, further. Uh, another time as well. Did I mean did um did everybody else find out about the situation oh like silver? God. You all right? No, it's shots fired. I'm sorry. Go uh, go. You you need to protect your own men as well. We'll take good care of her while you're gone. Yeah. Okay, stay I'll, safe, I'm man. just gonna go check on that. All right, no problem. Stay safe. I'll uh, see you later. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. We we can. I mean, look, we can take care of some things later. And um, if you need someone to talk to, I mean, obviously, Bailey and I are here. Obviously, you have Young, of course, too. But um, you know, also just I have to say, just because I'm your chief but you know if you need to see someone um you know we have someone with the state um on retainer so mm -hmm. i i i might consider it
what about you guys though like, like again i i i know you two worked on me and i can't imagine the stress it put you through especially with having guns in your face um honestly uh she's handled most of it by the time i got there it was just support so kept me focused and everything I, you're 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 very humble, uh, Bailey. I, I I couldn't have done it without her. Um, without her support, it it would have. Uh, it was a team effort. It was. Yeah. Um, I know personally when you did flatline for that second, it was. It was a, it was one of the worst feelings. But... Yeah. That's. Again, I'm 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 sorry. I I'm not gonna stop saying that. It's you have nothing I... to apologize for. You did nothing wrong. Yeah, well, I just okay. I I just hate that it happened. And and what about the rest of the firefighters that are there? Are they are they doing all right mentally? Seems like it. You know, they're well. If anything, they're very efficient at compartmentalizing things and uh, going about their shifts. So okay, that's good. Yeah, I could hear some yelling, you know, but again, I was. <laughs> yeah, I. It's kind of focusing on just looking at the crown pretty much the entire time. I may have let the Irish temper flare a little bit at one or two times, but uh, yeah. I I did hear that. Sorry. I did hear that. I mean, you were justified in it, though. It was hard to focus and work when they were doing. I know. I just I could have. I could have gotten you shot. I couldn't got could have gotten myself shot. I could have gotten Campbell shot. You know, I mean, they were already not really caring about her condition, and you know, they could have done far worse just to end the distraction. And I'm glad they didn't. And I should have I should have just kept my mouth shut. Yeah, I'm just afraid that this might happen again, and I won't. I don't know how we can protect our firefighters from it. That's that's if that's a, if that's the same guys they're they're gonna strike again at some point. Well, they made off with a hell of a lot of medications, from my understanding. Um, so I think they're good for a while. Yeah, I guess the unfortunate side about it is they did get away with everything, which I guess in a good sense means they won't come back, but it also means they were successful, which is not a good sign either. Yeah, didn't sound like they're very successful they're trapped i mean the thing is we complied to the letter with whatever they wanted with the exception of me basically demanding that we you know take an ambulance out and get you to the hospital so really they were more so decimated by law enforcement um later on but we we did it we did in my eyes i don't think we did anything that would cause any kind of revenge on their part with us, I think we we complied to the best of our abilities, and I don't see a reason for them to come back. You know, if they did, it would be very petty because <laughs> we did everything they wanted. So, okay, all right. Yeah, that, that's that's my main fear, though, is that them just coming back and doing the same thing over and over and over again. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know. I'd like to think that they wouldn't come back to a station. I think they'd... I don't know, though. <laughs> Not after that. I think they saw how efficient uh, the uh, state is in handling such situations. Yeah. Yeah. I think and they us. expected an in and out really quickly and not what happened. No. Thank goodness for panic buttons on our radios, huh? That really saved a lot of time. Uh, yeah, except uh, that cooldown's a good thing to know about. Yeah, didn't know we Wait, had what? those. Uh, um, apparently, our radios have a built-in network uh, with all the radios in the state that there's a uh, cooldown period, so you can't just have multiple people press panic buttons at the same time. If somebody presses a panic button anywhere in the state, um, everyone else has to wait a unknown amount of time before they can press it again. That is very inconvenient. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that time frame is, but I'm going to find that out. But yeah. 
I mean, how unlikely is it that two people are going to press a panic button in two different parts of the state and one not get through? You know, it's, I don't know. I'll speak to the uh, um, Division of Homeland Security that's here in the state and just see if they can do something about these radios. Yeah. Um, when did you say you were going to go back to light duty? Um, probably on Friday. I'll be I'll be back and do command Friday Saturday. Um, and then I'll probably need to rest after a couple shifts there. Uh, I'll need to rest quite a bit in between my shifts for a little while. Yeah, I mean, no, that's good. That'll give you a few days still from now for you to get you know back at home and back in the swing of things. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, I I could have technically left the hospital a couple days ago, but I didn't. I'm gonna be honest, I just didn't want to be there alone. I was thinking, um, maybe, um, at some point, you know, maybe when we're all ready to and everything, um, maybe, you know, Bailey, if you want to bring Valentino and I don't even know Valentino's first name, um, uh, I don't Nick. even know Young's first name. It's Gavin. Gavin and Eric? Nick. Nick. Wait, his name is Nick? I never knew that. Actually, I remember that now. It's, it's just it's been so long that I forgot. But if you want to bring Nick and Gavin, Maybe to a barbecue at my place sometime. I'd I'd love to host one and have you guys over and you know do some cooking. I I, I just recently got a smoker and yeah you know, I, I slow smoke some meat in the backyard. It's really good. It's like applewood and charcoal. It's delicious. Ooh. Ooh. That actually yeah. sounds wonderful. I am always down for some barbecue. It'd be fun. And I have a pool, so there's that. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'll ask. I, uh, I probably won't be able to swim until my injuries are completely healed. But yeah, good point. But I don't mind dipping my my you know my my feet in or something. Yeah, I don't have a hot tub. However, uh, like I said outside, I was thinking about selling that stupid car I have and putting a down payment on a a little bit of a larger house since you know kind of came into that money now. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was actually thinking, um, you know, they they rebuilt that uh, house that uh, you used to live in, Campbell. Oh yeah, I I had it rebuilt on, off the insurance money and then just sold it for a lot more. Yeah, I was actually thinking about buying that. It's uh, it's currently is up it back sale. on sale. Really? It is, yeah. Why would they want to move? Foreclosure. That's why it's a little bit cheap. I oh, think the people yikes. who bought it couldn't afford it. Yeah. Well, it's a it was a great place. Um, it might be a little different inside, but I I think it's yeah. a great place. Nice hot tub though. Nice view. The view was my favorite. Yeah, we, I mean, you have a, a pretty good view of your apartment now too. Uh, yeah, my I love my apartment. I I I very much love it. No, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I, I don't want to overstay my welcome and you yeah, rest, yeah, so. of course. Yeah, I should probably get to work too. But... All right. Well, I uh, I mean, come here, both of you. I I do appreciate you guys coming by and saying hello. Group hug. You go. Bye, Thank you guys. It was very nice. Yeah. I'll 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 be better soon. Yeah, I know. Text or call if you need anything. I will. You're tough. Thank You'll you for the it. thank you for the video game or video DVDs, I guess. Uh yeah, videos, movies. Okay. Yeah, I can I bring you that. I can bring you video games if you want. No 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 no, I'm I'm leaving soon anyways, so And yeah, there's lots of snacks in there too. So I, I know you can't eat yeah. everything, but now take care of those those li li yeah, lilies that I brought as well. I I will yes. You're just I, over there. Thank you for the flowers. Yeah, of course. All right, you guys have a nice night. You too. Thank you. Oh, I think the nurse is asking for somebody else too. So. Oh, good, good, good. Yep. All right. Bye, Best boss. Back to you. Bye, guys. The store's really take heavy. I'm very. Ill. Just you just gotta oh. really push it. I'm um, back up. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> <It's laughs> <a>, now <laughs> that I'm looking at it, it's a really big door. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, I got it too. Wow, why is that door so heavy? I don't so know. The patients can't get away. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way. That way. Hey. Oh, hey, Bailey. Hey. Hey, Chief. 
How's it going, uh, which room's Campbell in? Howdy, guys. Uh, back rooms go through this door, and it's gonna be the first one on your left there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, stop by. I like that yeah. shirt, by the way, Chief. Thanks, appreciate it. Very nice. So, oh, hey, yeah, what's up, guys? How's she, uh, how's she doing? Hi, Bailey. Oh, hey, guys. That's so sweet. You brought a teddy bear. Um, mm -hmm. she's talking and conscious. I mean, it was Manning's idea. She seems happy, so I'm sure she'll be happy to see all of you guys. Yeah. yeah. Everyone at the station today was asking how Campbell was doing, so it's been a not so eventful night. Not going to say the Q word, um, but you know, Engine Two had a call today for a silent alarm at the twenty four seven. So not much has happened. Oh, so. okay. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. I'm actually going to probably go on shift right now, so I will yeah, yell cool. back at the station. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey. All right. See you in a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which uh, station are we at tonight? Uh, eight. Seven. Uh, eight and two. Eight and two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> forty-two. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, some people did go forty-two, so there are some spots open. So. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are gonna see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. See you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Stay safe. You too. Oops. Sorry. Oh, no, you're it was good. really heavy suddenly. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to hang here for a second. I, I got yeah, to apologize good. to a nurse uh, somewhere. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go on shift. I, I got to uh, do something else. But uh, I'll probably see you later this week, maybe. Yeah, you're good. I'm glad she's doing well and better and up and everything. Yeah, me too. And and really, I did mean it. it, it without you, that would have not gone as well as it did back there. So. Thank you. Gotcha. Well, thank you, and same goes to you, definitely. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Take care. Stay safe. Hey, Bailey. Hey, sorry, I just sent it my I radio. I don't know why I just called yeah, myself at 33. Because <laughs> you want to promote? Bruh, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> um, are there any open apparatuses, Serena? Uh, uh, the ladder there one are a couple. Now, and Medic has a spot, but... Uh, Engine 2's got one, but King's gonna do reassignments here shortly. Okay, ladder 1's cool. not staffed. Right. Medic I will see y'all And Engine's later. triple staffed currently, so I'm sure there's oh, gonna be so some shifting Oh, so whenever you and Yeah, I think she's, just, she's gonna end up doing some total reshuffling. Gotcha. Senior Fire Rider 19 is 10 7 10 41 10 8. <laughs> going off duty, going out. Yep, <laughs> on duty, off duty. Sure to shift. Ten, we're fire radio ten two two mics. Uh, right, I'm gonna go get dressed really quick. Although I don't know right. which outfit, but I'll figure it out. One of the. Whatever you put on, there's a fifty fifty chance it'll be wrong. Right, exactly. Control five fire two six ten forty one ten eight. That truck, does anyone know what it's doing? Sorry, I really switched topics. No, I just, it's struggling she in that alleyway. ADHD, it's fine. Yeah, no, that's not our business. I mean, it is if they're... Until it catches on fire and, or becomes a medical <laughs> emergency, I'm not, I don't care enough. You say that, but Unless last time there was a truck in front spine, of our... Yeah, that's what I'm Unless I, was... I get a bullet through my spine, talk? I'm not going to care. I, I kind of want to talk to him, but... And he just yeah, suspiciously you know, you ran away from his face. Yeah, fine, I'll do it. No, hey, don't walk over there. Jones, stay over here. Make sure you use your radio within 50 feet of the truck as well, just to make hey, sure. Hey, Jones, just stay over here if you don't mind, please. A little worried about that, but okay, we're good. If there was still a dispatcher, I'd ask him to send the metro he's probably, over here. He's probably just, it looks like he had ladders on top. It's probably just maintenance for the condos over there. Let's hope. Probably. Because we. He has a there's, utility there's truck with a bed. I mean, if you want, you can just go over. One of us can lateral over to Metro and report in a suspicious vehicle at eight two one three. If I don't you're know really if concerned about it, yeah, but, but they, like, they yeah. haven't really done anything really to be suspicious at this point. I mean, they they took a slow pass in front. They were creeping at the light. Then they took a slow pass in front of the station. Yeah, and then that way, if you were to turn, they got out of the vehicle right away. Well, look, there yeah. it is. Problem solved. 
Their ears were ringing. They were ready. Okay, maybe not everybody roll out. Uh, you know what? If they were in plain clothes, this would be a lot more alarming for the cop, I'm sure. Right? Like, just three people just running out. People just... <laughs> <laughs> I would have had just one, but I get it. They want to be in on it. Hmm, yeah, yeah. I mean, most likely he's just doing his job over there. I was just curious. Yeah. Because of what happened last time I was at the station. Yeah, yeah. Really, though, I am glad to see you're okay and everything. How y'all doing? Um, I'm good. What uh, the officer say? Uh, they're still talking to him. I just got bored. Oh, okay. That was fast. <laughs> One minute you want to be nosy, the next you come back. Wait, okay, let's yeah. get our picture. Here, stand up on the pole and I'll get both of them in the background. Yeah. I don't, do you want to post his hands on hips or something else? Uh, I think you should stand in the middle, Bailey. Honestly, hey. yeah. Here, let me get on the left. Hey, he said he's come for you, everybody. Uh, well, he said he's come for you, Bailey, okay, to uh, put you in cuffs. Okay, tell him I'm taking a picture really quick, and then he can do that. No, 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 he said that you broke the law, you didn't pay uh, a speeding ticket. So uh, I don't have a speed you. ticket. Hang on, we're gonna take a picture, well, see, and then I'll go get arrested. For it. Warner, I'm, I'm, pretty sure, the dumpster. I'm pretty sure her boyfriend can take care of any tickets for her. Hey, what, Winter, Pickle? superhero. Let's go. I'm working on it. Hey, got it. Perfect. Nice job, girls. Yeah. Did he really need me, or was it... No, no, he's, no. he's he's coming over. He's uh he actually legit okay. came to interview. I'm going and ask in the station a week ago. Okay, yeah, so he there's did need me. Yeah, all right. There's a there's a clown car over there now. A what? All over right, where? I'm a clown out. car. I'm going in. I'm gonna stay out here. It's full center. I'm gonna no go sense. eat dinner now. Uh, do you want to talk here? Do you want to go somewhere at the station? Wherever or? you would like. Oh, I'm I mean, whatever is most manager. convenient for you. I don't mind. I can do it on the sidewalk. I can do it in the air. I can do it anywhere. In the I'll air? One. Wait, I want to see that. Can I um, see him take the interview in the air? Um, He's a magician. I would invite us inside here, but I feel like you'll be able to hear every single firefighter if we talk here. So we can either okay. go like around the corner go or we can go to your you station. Have your whole privacy. You have nothing but privacy here, okay? Great. You, you got some funny guys here, huh? Yeah, I don't think he's yes. aware of what happened, so we'll just let him keep. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd rather just them be happy than, guys. like, get into the talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we can just walk over here. It's totally yeah. fine. Oh, well, they're moving away. No. <gasps> Alrighty. Okay, so you can take your time at any point to answer any of these questions. They're just going to be based preliminary questions, anything you remember about the day. Um, if you feel uncomfortable answering any questions, just go ahead and let me know. We can skip over it, but we will just start off with what happened. Um, do you want, like, sorry, the full, like, top to bottom of what happened? Or? Go for us. Whatever you feel is important. I, I mean, I... I don't know how much detail I little, but I can. One sec, let me turn my radio off. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay. Uh, so we were here at the station, at work basically, and we were making lunch like we usually do. And all of a sudden, Chief Glenn said to hit our panic buttons. So I did. And after I hit my panic button, I turned around and saw there was a guy with a gun pointed at us. And then I looked in front of me and there were four additional people with guns pointed at us. Um, Campbell pulled out her gun too, kind of went behind a wall, uh, said for them to put theirs away, and then they all started shooting each other. Um, then we put our hands up after they shot Campbell. And it was at this point I realized it was the same group of people that had kidnapped me a couple months ago. Um, and then I think one of them was even the same person. He looked and sounded really familiar, but I couldn't tell because he had a mask on this time versus last time. Um, basically, uh, they cuffed us all up, had us sit down. Um, they took chief, both chiefs upstairs into their office 
and then they took me and all the other firefighters into the bathroom um when we were in the bathroom they took everybody's glasses except i don't wear glasses but then they smushed all the other people's glasses and then they kind of like kicked the firefighters around a bit um and i could hear them in the other room talking eventually they came in there they said um chief glenn needed help so they took me from the bathroom to the office where campbell was and they uncuffed me there and i helped treat campbell while the other three were there um talking about it um they were asking questions about what to do with the medicine that they had stolen from us like how does it work where can they like who what can they do with it you know what's each label means and everything and then um they brought the blood and we ended up driving the ambulance somehow from here to the hospital and back i'm still surprised that happened and then once we got back they took us back upstairs and then put another gun to our head walked us outside and they let me and shooter go who were the only two left and at that time i don't know where everybody else went at that point i couldn't see and then they took chief and they left and yeah that is i'm sure you have more questions i don't know if that was too detailed of a summary it's not enough but it was perfect all right so at any time did any of them have any descriptive features that be tattoos hair color skin color any raspy voices normal voices light voices anything like that um there were four guys and one girl the girl had short black hair um they seemed Hispanic. Um, they talked about how they were like doing this for their boss or whatever, which is the same thing they talked about last time I was with them. And they seemed, uh, there was one guy that was definitely in charge. All the other four were following the one guy. He had short um, brown hair. Um, like I said, they all had masks on and glasses, so I couldn't get much of their tattoos. I think two of them had tattoos. I could be mistaken on that, though. Alrighty, and then do you know any of the making models of weapons that they used? Um... The girl had a pistol, uh, the guys had, I'm not good with weapons, I'm sorry, they were bigger guns. Yeah, my apologies, I really don't know guns at all. Nope, it's all good. Okay, and have they ever say any names to each other? Was it just indirect use, you do this, you do that, you hear? Yeah, they never said any names. The only thing they said is, like, boss to that one guy. The rest of them they were just like, you, you, whatever. Okay, and at any point did they say they worked for an organization, whether that be a name or just they worked for a bigger group or what kind of group or what kind of work they do? Um, not directly. Um, they seemed like concerned that they had to get this medicine and report back with all of it. But they weren't honestly that talkative especially when we we're in the bathroom they kept just telling us to shut up and mostly just left all right and you said they were 
asking you to teach them or tell them how to use the medicine? Did they say it was for, you know, gunshots or if they were, you know, planning on making a chemical or? Um, they just, not really. They were like, okay, we got to take notes. We got to remember this all. They didn't say what they wanted it all for, like any of the equipment or anything. Okay, that is all from me. If you have anything else you can remember. Um, then go ahead and say it. But um, other than that, I have no more questions. You are good to go. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't know anything else much. Other than they right. wear those cowboy hats and black outfits. But you know that because y'all saw them. Alrighty, so I'm gonna hand you this card here. Yeah, Jada. It's a special card. It's got my personal phone number. You can contact me day and night, work or personal related. You can contact me and get any info that you can remember. Green, if you green, didn't green, tell green, me green, today green. or anything work related, go ahead and shoot that my way and I will get it taken care of. Sure, uh -huh. thanks. And if you have any follow-up questions, you feel free. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear it. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, I so know uh, Campbell or... gets back on duty on Friday. I know oh. you were looking for um, Chief Glenn's usually around tomorrow as well. Oof. Perfect. Yeah. I will loop back around. Yeah. Uh, were you trying to find me last week, by the way? Was that you or was that somebody else? I know. I was, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I came to the station. They were already gone, but I'm glad you You're caught me. Mike? Yep. Yeah, I was. I know you guys had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back calls, and then I got tied in a priority, so. Hmm. Gotcha. Well, I hope you end up catching the, the other guys yeah, and yeah. everything. Absolutely, we've got Wait this. Some, uh, you know, some calls or something. Other than that, I am all good. Know, so I can't hear um, I'm trying to remember who did the questioning the first time. I don't know if it was the county units, but I don't know. I'm sure y'all are collaborating and everything. Possibly, I don't have anything on note for that. We opened a completely separate investigation with major crimes, so gotcha. myself and two others are working it. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna buzz out of here. Have a great rest yeah, of your day. Yeah, thanks. You too. Absolutely. Find us. I'm getting out of here, White. <laughs> 